jujitsu. What do I know? All right, everybody. Let me put this in a in frame here, so I have this for for everybody here. So, uh, before we start, um, I'm gonna record all the techniques uh, on my phone, and then I'm gonna upload them solely for you guys. And the goal here is to give you guys an experience that you'll never get anywhere else because what I teach is truly unique. Most of the stuff that I'm going to show you I created or adjusted to the systems that I have created and I use. Philip has uh, been a huge factor of uh, him fighting off my attacks and me having to make refinements and improvements. And I wanted to thank Philip for, uh, for being here, my first black belt son and uh, an amazing human being. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so first and foremost, I wanted to express an immense uh, just gratitude for Larry and for Jada and everybody here for inviting me, inviting Philip, and for us having an opportunity through jujitsu jitsu to, uh, to have an impact on you guys, to be able to show you possibilities, to be able to show you techniques, to be able to show you so much more than just jujitsu through jujitsu. First and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior in order for putting jujitsu into my life, for blessing me with an amazing gift through which I have an opportunity, first and foremost, to spread the word and to spread the jujitsu gospel. Because if not for him, none of us would be here, nothing would be here, but we are here because of him. And I'm incredibly blessed and grateful because jujitsu has given me so many amazing experiences in my life. I've been doing jujitsu for over 20 years. I wish I would have started sooner, but I didn't know. And, uh, you know, once Jiu-Jitsu came into my life, I pretty much stopped doing everything else. And I focused on something that finally I understood is pretty much turned out to be the most challenging thing in, uh, in my life. But it has provided me with the most amazing experiences, the most amazing opportunities, the most amazing life. To this is all I do, this is all he does. I don't have another job where I go, to, you know, and then I go to the academy and all that. And, you know, God put so many amazing human beings into my life that always, you know, bring out the best of me. All of you are part of that, and I couldn't be more grateful and blessed. You know, jujitsu is uh, something truly uh, special to me. I, I, I believe that through jujitsu, I learned so much, and, you know, I could go on and on and on, but. A few of the things that I really truly uh, learned is how important it is to live a lifestyle that provides you with the opportunity to be able to perform at your best and at your optimum. Our health is all we really have. I've seen human beings go from healthy, thriving, everything, and all of a sudden, blink of an eye, it's all gone. And, you know, we take our health for granted. But it's very important that you understand that jiu-jitsu is much more than showing up and put on a gi or no gi, if you guys like that. <laughs> no, I don't mind no gi, but gi is the way. Because otherwise, where does the belt go if it's no gi? And then it's like, how do you get promoted? And Eddie Barber just hands you a belt and stuff like that. But obviously, he's a legend. And, uh, and uh, you know, but in, in, in regards to the, to the lifestyle, you know, jiu-jitsu will uh, provide you with an opportunity to be your best. Your, your, your coaches will hold you accountable, your training partners will hold you accountable, and you bring the best out of each and every one of you. Your training, your partner's safety is your responsibility. Yes, train hard and so forth, but one of the worst things that you can experience is being the reason why your training partners got hurt, being negligent, being too rough. It's not about rough, it's a matter of being controlled and understanding that, you know, Trust in jiu-jitsu is absolutely vital because you put yourself in so many vulnerable positions that in all reality, if you don't stop in time, you could maim and cripple and just injure your training partner for life in all reality. You know, everybody has another life outside of you. You need to be able to walk out, you need to be able to work, you need to be able to provide. But once you walk out of here, that's where the jiu-jitsu journey really matters. Because it's 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 great to be a you know good at jujitsu and so forth, but it's far more important about the human being and your character, and how you conduct yourself and hold yourself always off the mat, and that's really what matters. You know, I've seen a lot of guys that have fantastic jujitsu, but they're just garbage human beings, 
And then I've seen a lot of amazing, amazing human beings who just mediocre jujitsu. And they're really, truly the great one. And when you live your life, you think to yourself, you have to live a lifestyle that enables you to perform at your best. You have to consume the proper food that are gonna give you the fuel in order to be able to perform. You have to drink clear liquids like water instead of sodas, instead of all kinds of sugary stuff. And you have to live a healthy lifestyle, especially for those of you who have children, you owe it to them in order to be as healthy as you can be. First and foremost, because you wanna be around to see them grow, to see them have kids, to see them thrive. And you wanna be a part of their life. You can't do that if you have issues with your health. Come a little closer, my friend, so you can be here. And, and, and yeah. don't stand in front of there, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you get, yeah. Be the cinematographer, be the Steven Spielberg of, uh, of this moment right here. <laughs> and uh, you wanna be healthy. That's really, first and foremost, the huge byproduct of jujitsu. For those who live that lifestyle where you go out and you drink, hang out, and all that kind of stuff, eat whatever you want, you go, oh, go train and all that, you're doing yourself a huge disservice because you're never gonna be your best. This is an opportunity every day to walk in here, to leave all the stress, all the garbage, all the pressures, everything that is miserable in your life, everything you consume with, leave it out there. Leave it in the car, it'll be there waiting for you. But when you walk out, I assure you, after you get a good sweat going, good training around amazing human beings, you walk out there, you pick that bag up of garbage or whatever it is that's stressing you out in life, everybody's got their own issues. And all that is gonna be a lot lighter to carry. You just will always inspire you, always hold you accountable. And always give you an opportunity to be your best, you know? And in my life and in the lives of everybody here, you know, everybody has ups and downs. But the amazing thing about jujitsu, it's either a pillar or a crutch. Mm -hmm. I think that when I look back at the last year or two, five, four or five years of my life, I moved to Texas in 2019 to open up our academy, and I had so many highs, lows, ups, downs, that, man, when I think back, jujitsu really has been much more of a crutch than it has been a pillar. So you can lean on it to get through the hard times, to get through the stressful times. You lean on it, you, 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 you love it, you, you, it brings the best out of you, it gives you hope, it gives you purpose when you may feel that you don't have purpose. And that crutch eventually turns into a pillar and more like a, like a pole vault where you just leap to the next level and go up and up and up until you then have to use it again as a crutch. Nothing just keeps going up. Everything has high, highs and lows, high and lows. The goal is, in the trajectory of life, is just make sure you have higher highs and higher lows. So you're always in an uptrend, like a good uh, cryptocurrency, <laughs> such as uh, Bitcoin, which is, I guess, up at, uh, at a time. I uh, didn't get in on it when it was $200 and uh, got out of it when it was uh, you know, low. But anyway, that's a whole different story. <laughs> the point is, higher highs, higher lows. Jiu-Jitsu is a pillar or a crutch. Most of the time for me, it's been a crutch, and I couldn't be more grateful to have that opportunity to lean on jujitsu. To give my daughters, I have two daughters, to give them an opportunity to see their dad living a life of purpose, living a life where he can enrich and inspire and, and impact everybody around me in the, in the most positive ways. And I tell my daughters, I said, you know, to you, because you know, they, I have a 13 year old, so almost 14, and a nine year old, so almost 10, she'll be 10 tomorrow. And, you know, they jerk around with me and you know, make fun of me and all that. And I'm you know, very easy going with my girls. But I tell them, listen, there's a lot of people out there. To you, I'm just dad. But there's a lot of people that look at me as Professor Gray, somebody who's a big deal in their life, somebody who shows them a lot of new things and all that. So someday, you'll learn who your dad really is. And my younger one, she was like, I think six or seven at that. She goes, oh, so you're not a real dad. <laughs> no, I am, but you know, ah, and then they start laughing and keep making fun. But the point is, is that healthy lifestyle, you continue to move forward. And remember that at some point you have the higher belts here, you have the, not the lower belts, the, the less higher belts, the minor not, the less higher belts towards the back. But eventually, everybody, I was back there at one point. And when I saw my professor, I trained under Hoist and Master Sharp Jock and, and Master Carlos, and, and, and literally I learned from like icons and legends of Jiu 
jiu-jitsu. I, my, my jiu-jitsu journey has been incredible, unlike anybody else's. And I was always inspired to be in a position where it's not that I wanted to be up front, it's not, I wanted to have an opportunity to have the impact on them that they, I mean, an impact on others that they were having on me. And they didn't even know it. And I really used that as a source of uh, motivation for me to eventually get up to this point. Remember, a white belt, okay, a black belt is just a white belt who never quit. The most important thing is show up. That's it. Don't think about, oh, I'm looking for my next stride for my next belt, oh, I want to get the black belt. No, 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 no. The journey is the destination. And you guys need to enjoy the journey, not the next belt. Those are all just acknowledgements of your progress and of your movement forward and so forth. But enjoy the moment of now. You know, nothing is real except this moment right here. The past is gone, it's never coming back. Sure, we learn from it. Great. The future's not even here. All that is a figment of our imagination. The only thing that's real is this moment. And God put us here together for a reason. Keep your training partners safe. Use jiu-jitsu as a pillar of crutch. Show up, be around good people, help each other out. Jiu-jitsu is an amazing source of giving. Don't chase belts, be in the moment. Help inspire each other, especially those who are just starting. They need help get that momentum going, help them fall in love with jiu-jitsu. You see a technique, you do a technique, you teach a technique. Help each other, you'll learn a lot more. But big advice is, show up, don't chase belts. Although belts are very important, because remember, when you actually achieve black belt, and I guarantee you that every one of you will achieve a level of black belt if you just don't quit. It's guaranteed, without any question and you're gonna be able to have a massive impact on everybody around you. And I wanted to thank Larry for giving me an opportunity to be standing here and uh, just sharing this with you. It's all coming off the top of my head and I didn't put a script on our speech. He's an amazing human being, amazing father, amazing husband, amazing leader. And you guys truly, I think, may not even understand what kind of a precious human being you have as the one who coaches you. It's not a matter that he's wearing a purple belt. He could be wearing any belt, but it's the type of man, it's the type of leader, and it's the type of human being that you really are. Your character, your ability to be able to bring the best out of everybody, it's not about the black belt. It's just about being the best human being you can be and being the type of human being that God wants you to be. But I think at this moment, God wants you to be a brown belt. Inconceivable belt that I thought to myself would, uh, to me, represent ugh, something that I looked at brown belts when I first started, which really weren't around too much, as these incredible, like, literally like black belts. And a brown belt is just a black belt. I mean, a black belt is just a brown belt in disguise. A brown belt is a black belt in disguise, yes. And I know you guys don't have black belt train with but now you have us as ones that will help you I'm always available you're all part of our family now and uh, Larry is uh, now officially uh, at the stage where next is black belt so, so Professor Phil <laughs> yes, sir. Here. let's tie this belt yes sir Larry, you're welcome to grab another belt if you mm -hmm. like with this on a shirt uh, uh, Phil can help you with uh, one of these <laughs> and on the count of three We'll say congratulations. One, two, three. Congratulations. Hey!
useless. <laughs> Guys, I, yes, I am speechless, believe it or not, Daniel. Um, he, did, he didn't know. No, I didn't know. I, I had honestly asked not to be promoted. Um, he did. He did. I, I, I like this belt. This belt's special to me because this is the belt that really formed my journey in jiu-jitsu. And um, this one is going to be hard to let go of. Um, I didn't. This is a new journey for me. Um, I'll do my best to make you guys proud as your coach, as a player on the mats, um, as your student. Absolutely. As your student. And um, I just appreciate all you guys because we had a sign that was up here. It says Iron Sharpening Iron. It's going back under here, guys, because you guys sharpen me every day. You guys help me just as much as I help you. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys. Love you, Coach Doug. different belts, retire the belts, always hold on to the belts. They become a lot more precious as more time goes by in your journey, as long as you don't quit, because then those belts will be a reminder that you're a quitter, and there's nothing worse than that. <laughs> Nobody, not one human being that I know that used to do jiu-jitsu, that stopped doing jiu-jitsu, is better off today 100. than they were before, just as we were better off four years ago than we are today. Anyways, having said that, I won't go into that, but congratulations. <laughs> Some of you may, you may, you may have, I don't know, I doubt it, but most of them, you have not. And I'm going to blow your minds, everything's going to be recorded, it's going to be fantastic. And now we're going to bow in, we're going to breathe. So, always breathe in, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, let's do this. All right, everybody, just kind of get around in a semicircle, and I am going to start with this all right 